Hi everybody. In this video we will explain a little bit about the things we just danced. So we have different type of blocks. The first one is from a tuck turn. We start, we have a line here. Five, six, here you go, wap, wap. I ask for a hand contact. Then I go close, open, step. And at that moment, I already build up a tension here that she notices she can't go through. So she will reply that tension. So there's a little flexibility between the arm and the body. So that it's not, it's not like a wall, but however, we will show. Five, six, here you go. Walk, walk, touch. So, tap and block, tap and block, tap and block. And I decide to let go. When I decide to let her go through, I just relax and she's naturally follow, following her own flow. We will show that one time from behind. Six, here you go. Walk, walk, walk. Talk, step, go, tuck, go, tuck, and relax and go through. Yeah, so here it's important to make, um, yeah, to build up the tension early enough so that she has time to react for that. Uh, the music plays an important role, so you can manage the blocks that you can lead into a kind of finale where you can have a small hop or a dirty dog or whatsoever kind of break movement. It is uh, quite um, nice to combine with other blocks. We will show like a combination of blocks. Five, six, here you go, move, up, go up. Here you go, top turn blocks, block here, block here, go over and from here. I would usually lead her through here. So, but here, when she's stepping back, and I lead her in and I block here. So I have a block here, block here, block. And at least I release. Here I can easily come into elbow catches. She's moving that way. I block the movement, I move the other way. Usually I would come here into the hand catch, but here I use the thumb to keep her here on place. So whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, so I have these two compressions here, and here also I use the fingers and the thumb. The fingers block the movement here, the thumb blocks the movement there. So I can build in blocks in kind of every situation. We will show that one more time from the side. Six, seven, eight, touch, step, touch. First, the top turn blocks here. Go one, go over here, have a block here, go one, and come to that. Go one, I can come to that, that one, go one, go from here, I can also turn around, so I go go one, yes, tap, 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 and go, go up, tap, tap. There are many possibilities, uh, you can show. And from here, five, six, zero, one, two, three, back, tap, tap, lock, 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 Of a 
still point, but there's where the action happens. So the stretches and the compressions come from an opposite body movement. So I move here, she moves there. It's the same in this position, six, seven, eight, two, one, whoop, whoop. If you do the super slow motion, she moves here and I move there. So we counter our movements. Block, whoop, whoop, whoop. Here in this uh, tuck drum block, I also use the hand to create a stretch. So when she comes out from the block, she is led into the next compression where her shoulder will be stopped by my hand. I don't go against her, I search for a contact, she moves into that and from that she comes out in the opposite direction. Let me show that from the side. Six, here we go. Yes. Compression, 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 compression. Here you can also see that we move against each other. Here also against each other. So we go away from each other and come together. Yeah. So basically these are some blocks, combinations, uh, the tuck turn into elbow catch blocks. It's quite useful and mostly nice it will be if you can make it match with the music that at the finale of the sequence you hit the spot, you can hear when, when there's a break in the music and you can finish these movements with a small break movement. Thank you very much for watching.